Hey, Year Fours! It's wonderful to be back and be making videos and having these lessons with you guys. I hope you had a wonderful week off. That was about two weeks ago where you could just rest and don't do any schoolwork. And I'm sure you enjoyed that a lot. And then last week you did those informal assessments where you just did a review of all the work you've done so far in Term 2. Now today we'll be continuing with our lessons and with story writing that we started two weeks ago. Right, today we'll be looking at the features of story writing again just to remind you and refresh your memory and we'll be looking at creating characters. Then we'll start with a plot of the story. We'll look at writing the beginning and we'll be planning it in your Story Mountain Planner and then you'll write it. Then you'll be doing planning the middle and you'll be writing it. So we'll be writing the story bit by bit every day and not the whole story in one sitting. Then lastly, we will do the ending. You'll once again plan it first and then write it. You'll also be doing two high frequency word sheets. The words on those sheets are very relevant for story writing. So keep those close by. And then you'll be doing the long O vowel digraph, which would be the OA and the OW. And I just want to tell you, this week is your story writing week. So I would like you to be as creative as you can be. So let's have a look at the work for um, task one. So we will start with a high frequency words sheet and that will be sheet number 10 in your worksheet pack. We will quickly do a review of all the features of fictional writing as you did it two weeks ago and I think you might need a little refresher. And then today we will focus on planning your character for your story. So there you have it all. So let's quickly review the types of fictional or story texts that we get. Of course, the most common one, the one we know the best, is your traditional literature. That includes, of course, folk tales, fairy tales, legends, fables, myths. And then we have realistic fiction, which is made up characters, but with situations that can happen in real life, like the way your life is every day. Then, of course, there's fantasy stories. That is a little bit of magic or superpowers in those stories. So they're not completely real, not the same as realistic fiction. Then, we'll ha then we have action and adventure stories. Often the boys love those the most. We have mystery stories, we have to solve a puzzle. And then we also get science fiction, which is like futuristic stories. Today, however, we'll be focusing on traditional literature, or that is at least the kind of story I would like you guys to write. Okay, guys, we're going to run through the features or the elements of a fiction text or story. So the features or elements of narrative writing is as follows. To start your story with, and that's usually your beginning, you have to have a setting. It tells you when and where the story takes place. And then very, very important is your characters, the people or the creatures or animals in your story. What is going to happen to them? And you have to introduce them at the beginning of your story. Then the story, the actual story is called the plot. The plot has three parts. It has the opening or the beginning, which is also called the introduction. Then you have a middle part, which is the biggest part of your story. It has a build up and then it has a problem, which is also the highlight or the climax of your story. And then it winds down. The problem is solved and then it ends up with an ending. 
So let's have a look at the setting. We did that two weeks ago, but we're just reviewing it and refreshing your memory. The setting is the time and the place of the story. So that means it tells us where and when the story is happening. The setting can, of course, change during your story. It doesn't necessarily have to say the same. As you could see there, there's a lovely, scary setting for a story. When you create a setting, you have to use your senses to add describing words to your setting. So let's have a look at this setting. I have a list of describing words, which is adjectives, to describe this setting. So if you have to look at those words, what would you use to describe this? I could possibly use tranquil, calm, breathtaking because it's really beautiful, peaceful, and of course beautiful. There is one or two other words that you could also use to describe this specific setting. Now we're moving on to the exciting part of planning your character. Characters tell us who is the story about. Characters can be people, animals or creatures. Usually your characters have a name and I would specifically want to ask you to not use your friend's name in your stories but create interesting names for your characters. Don't just say the boy or the girl or the king or the princess, you can, but try and be creative about the names you use. And then, of course, we have our good character and we have our evil or our bad characters. The bad character usually creates the problem in a story. So you need that one. And then, of course, with the, your main character, you can have other supporting characters to help your main character. Let's have a look um, at how to describe your characters. We're going to use describing words and that is adjectives that we did in term one and we're going to use lots of them during story writing. They are used to describe what your character looks like and also how he or she is. Let's have a look at little Piglet here and we're going to focus first on what Piglet, Piglet looks like on the outside. So how would you describe her appearance? So what do we see? We see a pink body, a striped belly, she has big pointy ears and she is small. Okay, the describing words over there, pink, striped, big, pointy, and then small as well. Then we're going to use adverbs to describe how the character feels and how they do things. So let's have a look at what Piglet is like on the inside, meaning what kind of personality does she have? So she her feelings is that she is usually very nervous. She worries a lot about things. That's what her thinking is. She asks many questions. And finally, in her actions or the things that she does, we see that she's hesitant. She doesn't just do something straight away. She waits a little bit. She's kind of a bit unsure. We're going to start your task one now of planning your character. So first of all, you plan your main character, the one the whole story revolves around. Then you'll be adding your bad character. That's the one who's causing your trouble. And then you can add one or two extra characters. I want you guys only to have a maximum of four characters in your story. Who is in your story and why? There are some ideas of different kinds of characters you could have. So just read through them by yourself. 
and there will be your character planning sheet. I'll explain that one to you in just a moment. Then I've added some wow words to describe your characters. On the left side is all the words to describe your positive traits of your character, all the good things about your character. And on the right side, it is the not so good things about your character. And many of those you would be using for your bad or evil character. So what do you need to do today? Your high frequency worksheet number 10, it's on page two in the worksheet pack. Many of the words this week um, is words related to story writing. Then you'll have your character description planner. That's on page three. And then you guys will see that I've put on a website this week for you to read stories on this website. So you won't be using your English reader. Enjoy that. Then looking at your character planning sheet. On the left side, you'll see, well, the big space there is where you draw a picture of your main character, what he will be looking like, what we, what he will be wearing. Then you're going to write to me, what is he good at? What is the things he can do that is good? And then four describing words. This week with story writing, we're going to focus a lot on the parts of speech which um, are adjectives, describing words, and adverbs. Then here on your right side where the, that little green um, arrow is, you will be planning your bad character in one block with two describing words and then in the block below you can add the one or two extra characters you want to use in your story and remember to also add two describing words with each character. Enjoy creating a wonderful character for your story.